I lose sight of the world when you leave me, my baby. Leave me, my baby. Oh, I can't help but give up when you're gone now. And you're gone, baby. taking you through deadlifts but before we get started I'm gonna be having some pre-workout only because I'm just not feeling it today I train like six days a week but there are days that I just la I'm just lagging energy and everything feels heavy even the warm-ups feel difficult which is what I just did before but um, I am warm now but I, I need a little little something you know a little something 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 so uh, we're gonna have some mega pre get started here we go check that out Really been practicing my non spill zone away from camera so that you guys can see that I am capable. You actually did that one really well. I know. Not bad. Not bad at all. Really itchy in the face. I freaking love it. Oh, Corey. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have like every time I. You just did it again. <laughs> What's that thing that's got the glasses and the cigarette comes down like you're a bad ass? Oh. <laughs> Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. I need to get into character. Today, I'm gonna lift like in the f***ing heavy badass. So today, because it's really cold in this gym, I went up to the treadmills and did a five minute walk to pump some blood into my muscles really gently. After I did that, I didn't really use it. I used an incline in the last minute just to challenge myself. I mean, I say incline, it was only like one little bit, but whatever. And then I came, I walked up there and then I did a little bit of ab work. Uh, they, they, this is because your trunk is like your main stability of your whole body. And so if you have a weak trunk, when you're doing things like a deadlift or an overhead press or anything to do with lifting really, you use this area. And if it's lagging, it's gonna not really give you the results that you want when it comes to stability. You know, you might break down form or you might not be strong enough, have a strong core, have strong lifts. And to be honest, it's something that I've ignored in the past and really lazy with because it hurts and I like the feeling of it and it's just boring to do. But because of that, I've had things like back injuries. Um, after giving birth, I still have separation in my lower abs. It's like this instead of like this. So it's really loose in that area. So I could make a lot more improvements. And this year I decided that I wanted to really work on that as a goal. Last year it was like I wanted big legs. Achieving that slowly, but now it's time to introduce new things that will help better all my lifts because I want a stronger deadlift, I want a stronger squat and things like that. So yeah, I did some stability work and now I'm going to move into my first movement, which is my compound movement, strength movement, deadlift. So I'm going to do sumos today. Uh, I'm not sure what I have on the schedule as far as weight goes, but we'll work up to something heavy. Like I said, I'm not probably feeling the best today. Not probably, I'm not. I'm not feeling the best today. So I'm going to do the best that I can without putting too much pressure on myself. That being said, I'm not going to get lazy and just do a crappy weight. I want to make sure I challenge myself, but not to the point where I want to cry. So we're going to do that today. Yeah, that's about it. Let's get started. around and normally speaking people would normally deadlift over there where the deadlift pad is and there's a wooden pad but for me personally I feel like I slip with my feet I'm gonna be doing my deadlifts off the rubber instead um, and it's gonna help me stay in a good position without slipping open and I'm gonna be stable well I feel like I'm gonna be stable so
my stance wider out of, as of late and this is helping me with my lockout and get the weight up quicker. It's a better position for me as opposed to being too close because if I'm too close with my deadlift I find that like I pull my, with my back and I can't get into a good position. So for me by staying nice and wide it means I'm closer to the ground and I'm able to leverage the weight at a shorter distance. So that's helping me lately. Jamie's just loading 140 kilos in the bar for me. Um, which used to be my 1RM about uh, about two years ago. And now I'm able to do this for multiple reps, which is exciting. So really when it comes to deadlifts, if you're practicing and you're you know, being patient, sticking to your programming, and also keeping an eye on your technical or your technique, uh, and constantly watching yourself on your own phone and, and critiquing yourself, you will progress in your deadlifts. Don't just expect to come to gym and just put a heavy weight on it every time and not practice and not do things properly. You have to sometimes strip the weight off go back to the basics and build your way back up. That's how I've been able to grow my deadlifts over time. Just consistency, technique, practice, and uh, a daily grind, basically. Making sure that they're a part of my program all the time and I'm giving it my all. deadlifts as my accessory if you are wanting to do or if you're wanting to grow your deadlifts I wanted to show you some other uh, variations that you can do so I've set up a bar and I'm going to be doing stiff legs this is another one to grow your deadlift so I'll show you how to do that so the first variation that I'm going to show you is a stiff leg so you want to have the bar slightly away from you bend down like a conventional come straight up nice neutral back hips through hips through. Whereas the Romanian deadlift bars closer to you, same position still, but you want to focus on keeping the muscle under tension instead of breaking at the bottom. So for this one, like a conventional deadlift, come straight up, bend back, stretch, hips through. Bend far back as much as you can, you feel stretch, hips through. The big difference with these arms is keeping one under tension and the other one's stopping and resting. Both these movements have the same outcome. They're great for your lower back, great for your hamstrings. Now I'm going to move on to the trap bar deadlift. This is a, one of my favorites because you get to use the quad to leverage the weight up. It also strengthens your upper back because the center of mass is through the middle. So as you can see, this is going to be my movement. Very upright. The beauty with the trap bar is that you can use it in two different ways. I've got it set up so that the bars are closer to me, which means I'm going to work more up and back. You can flip it around like this. I'll do it in a second and use this side of the trap bar and that's going to work more legs. By flipping it over, it actually increases the range of motion. As you can see, it's further away from me now and I have to get lower. Same deal though, make sure that you are grabbing in the middle, chest up, push through. Already I can feel my glutes and my quads working much harder than what I did when I had it flipped over in comparison to my upper back doing the work. Just to recap on the three movements that you can do as an accessory to your sumo deadlift. So we started out with the conventional as an accessory, that's what I mainly use today. This is going to work the back, then moved on to a stiff leg deadlift which is going to work more hamstrings. And then lastly we did a trap bar deadlift which is going to work upper back and legs. So these are some things that you can try at home, mix it up, see what works best for you. Make sure you always keep it interesting when you are training. Don't let your body uh, get used to something for too long. The goal here is to grow your main lifts. So do whatever you can in the way of accessories to help strengthen those weak body parts. These are the movements that I put into practice myself. I've used them with my clients in my program field and they're getting great results as well. So we all know that it works. Give it a try yourself. Let me know what you think. Thanks for supporting this page. Thanks for supporting Primeval Labs. Thanks for supporting me. I appreciate all the love and I'll catch you guys really soon.